All right, this is the first starting of the M2 in at least 11 days. Yay, starts up right away. That's kind of neat. It's been 11 days because we got eight inches of snow here in East Tennessee, which is very unusual for us. And you can see a picture here of where I measured it in the yard. And it was really cold here too. I think we had one day of two degree weather. Of course, the feels like was below zero. And we had a bunch of cold days in a row, so the snow stuck around. But last night, yesterday, we got up near 60 and we had a bunch of rain last night. So all the snow's gone. Um, so this is the first day that I get to take the M2 out again. And uh, like I said, at least 11 days, which is very unusual. Of course, the Shelby has not been out and won't be out for a while. You can see the cord there for the battery tender. I've never been happier to drive this car in the rain just because I know that heavy rain we had last night got rid of all the salt on the road. And I did not want to get this car out in the salt. That's why I waited till today. It's kind of difficult when you want to make car videos and dog videos and it's snowy and rainy and the conditions just aren't ideal. And so I've been thinking of other project ideas. I mentioned in one video that I wanted to work on learning how to paint correct, polish, buff, uh, ceramic coat. And so I got the materials to do that. I got a polisher buffer, uh, kind of an entry level one, but you know, it's good enough for me to learn on. I'm going to start with my parents' SUV. It's an older car um, practice. Then I'm going to do, I think, our SUV, and then I'm going to do the Shelby, of course, taping off the stripes. And then uh, this car. And I'm doing this car, the M2, last because this Toronto red metallic paint, uh, it looks like the kind of paint that you don't want to mess up. <laughs> and since I've never done, used a buffer polisher before, um, then you know, I just don't want to do this car first and make a mistake. And so I'll, I'll do some filming of that when I do the buffing and polishing and paint correction and kind of go through the whole process, my learning process with that. Uh, hopefully that's interesting and fun. Um, maybe I'll make some mistakes along the way. It could be good content, who knows. Uh, but my goal is to do, do a good job and maybe instruct rather than show what not to do. <laughs> But you never know what's going to happen when you start on something like that. Another project I'm thinking about is um, I've been wanting to write a book for a long time. I'm a fantasy fiction reader. Uh, I have been my whole life. I've started a couple of books. I've written a couple of stories. But I've never actually written a novel. And last year, my uh, New Year's resolution was to write 200 words a day, five days a week, 1,000 words a week uh, for 50 weeks, so uh, 50,000 words. And I actually did well for a few months. I was on track, and between a vacation, getting sick, and some other things that happened, I just got off the rails with it and never got back on. So what I'm thinking is I'll do a weekly vlog and each week I will update on my progress, maybe tell a little bit about how I'm, how I'm working, what I'm working on, um, maybe some of the story. And who knows, maybe I had an idea this morning, I could even publish chapters as I'm, as I'm working on it uh, for free download. I, you know, I've never published anything, so I'm not even sure how I would, how I would do that yet. But that's an idea. That's something that I think would be interesting to a certain group of people that maybe write themselves or want to want to write um, write themselves as a turn of phrase and so I just think that could be an interesting project uh, maybe some of you would be interested in it I know most of you if you subscribe to this channel you did so for the cars or the dogs most likely um, so I, I promise there will be more car content and dog content especially as the weather clears and spring comes in and we can get on the tail of the dragon and more on the Foothills Parkway, the Devil's Triangle. I do some of those roads in both the M2 and the Shelby. You know, I do have the new GoPro now, which I will be using to do some of that. I haven't even shifted the M2 into M mode yet. Boy, I'm out of practice with this car. All right, there we go. 
One thing I'm really looking forward to with them too is getting it out when it's warmer. Uh, the tires, these Pirelli tires, I don't know if they're just terrible or if it's just because I've only owned the car in the cold. Um, definitely I've noticed that it, it, until you get the tires up to at least 50 degrees, they're not sticking very well at all when you accelerate. And the car really wants to step out on you if you accelerate uh, coming out of a corner. So I'm hoping that when things warm up, these tires are better, uh, stickier. And I, I feel like they probably will be. I had Pirelli's on my previous BMW, the 340i, uh, years ago. And I didn't really have any problems with those tires. So hopefully these will be uh, good tires too once they are in better condition. I have a feeling though I will be switching to the Michelin PS4S at some point because they work great on the Shelby. But hey, let me know what you think about my ideas. Um, you know, one a vlog of writing a novel. It will be a fantasy fiction novel because that's what I enjoy. Uh, and the other one a vlog on learning how to do paint correction with the buffer and polisher and uh, I'll, I'll clay bar and ceramic coat a couple of vehicles and just see how that goes too. So let me know what you think. Uh, comment below. I just got to accelerate a little bit and I haven't missed this car. It is fun. I've been driving my wife's all-wheel drive SUV the last few days since we've been able to get out since the snow. So it's nice to get back into a proper sports car and feel a little power. Well, here I am at work. It's a jury, jury day, but it was nice to get the car out again after 11 or 12 days stuck in the snow. So um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Alright guys.